Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today there's another bit of news from Unity. And they have merged, acquired, or somewhere in between a company called Iron Source. So rather than reading from the blog and just giving you the sort of general public spiel that they usually give, which actually gives you no details really on what they want to do with it, what the acquisition is. I'm just going to give you my general understanding and I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of exactly what is the truth or should be the truth. It's something that you can take and research yourself. And Iron Source got a bad name a few years ago because of their piece of software called Iron Call. And that was a wrapper which could bundle with software installations that would sometimes bundle with third party apps and install other programs, adware, spyware, and other things that you didn't necessarily just junk that would install on your computer. These guys specifically transitioned away from install core to specific in-game ads and Unity does drive a lot of revenue from their mobile ads kind of space. So if you launch an app, you can use Unity ads and it makes more money than it does usually through their subscriptions and other basis. Iron Source merged with Supersonic back in 2015, which did focus on in-game as ads specifically. And at the start of 2022, it acquired TapJoy, which is also a specialist in mobile games advertising and monetizing apps specifically. It allows them to harness the tools, the platforms, and also the data that they've collected in terms of ad generation and specifically for publishers to be able to have a bigger market share in terms of mobile ad space. So this will allow Unity to drive bigger revenues and user Zetum on Reddit actually summed this up quite nicely. And then they said Unity is what it is today because of ad revenues by Unity ads. Iron Source is highly profitable and is a popular ad delivery network and analytics platform in the mobile space. Unity is buying them so they can combine their own highly profitable efforts in this space. Iron Source is expected to show great returns in the popularity of an ad network and their ads work based on data. So whoever has the most data can display the most optimized, price efficient ads to specific users and publishers want the best deals after all for this data and the ads that will show. This acquisition is similar to Google buying DoubleClick in 2007 for around 3.3 billion, which gave Gave them a really massive amount of data advantage and paved the way for their market dominance in web specific ads. So developers may not like this, understand it. So you need to get an increased cut of everything that users spend for specific Unity applications will play out in the coming years. Just like Epic Games have with Fortnite when it comes to cosmetics, Unity's biggest encompassing ad platform is their monetization for playing bills and investing into the engine. And you've got to imagine if Unity lost this side of their revenue to a company like Google, and if Google started buying up games industry style ad platforms, Unity would lose a hell of a lot of revenue on that side. And it's potentially one of Unity's best long-term strategies for payoffs with reinvestment into the engine. So as much as certain companies can be associated with bad things, it doesn't mean that they can pivot to something more beneficial and with Unity taking over, maybe it helps drive more advertisers, more revenue to them and to the actual users that fundamentally use their platform. Again, you can comment down below if you have an opinion on this. The thing is, it's happened and Unity have merged and acquired, so it's something that we have to see play out in the future. So do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join my Discord if you want to chat and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store, along with great savings on my website for all those specific assets. A massive thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Jean Pomier, Manos Berikas, Terence Conrad, Gage Lindstrom, Walter Dunson, Joseph Newman, Rene Leisure, Darren M, Tofa Chambers, Eshek Samani, Gary McGee, Christian Sellen, Skya Skya, Benjamin Shankel, HK, Amanda Ditami, Alex Shen, William M, Jiraiya Sensei, and Kreshnik Halili. So thank you for everybody else for coming to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.